guys this is muffin sauce and welcome to my studio this is my home studio and i actually film from home yeah i'm pretty nervous and this is mochi she's not my cat oh crap and that's my dog <laughs> so for today's video i would like to try something new and i've got here feathers and you see this tip of the macaw feather as you can see from shows like Harry Potter, they, they use like quills, they call it quill, right? Quills to write in traditional writing in like olden days. Before the pen was invented, they used quills to write. <laughs> uh, this, is, this is not for playing! <laughs> so I'm going to try and cut this quill to attempt to draw with it. I know quills are used for like calligraphy writing, olden days writing, but we're going to try drawing with quills. And I got no idea how this is going to turn out. Let's get to business. So I have here a blue yellow feather and this is what you call a hollow shaft. Yeah, the tip of the, or rather it looks like a spine of the feather is called a hollow shaft and I'm going to cut it with an exacto knife. You can use a pen knife as well and Please get an adult to help you if you're young and do not attempt to do it yourself if you are unsure. And do be very very careful with it. And like how pen nibs are being made, I'm actually cutting a slant tip at the end of the shaft. So there's a, there's a reason why you need the shaft to be very thick. If it's not thick enough, it will be very um, fragile and it might break and the thicker it is the better so there are actually like um things inside in between the shaft and you have to pull it out and okay, i realized that the shaft is not slant enough so i'm adjusting it by a little and also um you have to do a slit in the in between it so just like a uh, fountain pen nibs there's a slit in between and that will help the ink to flow out properly and yeah as i mentioned there's something inside the shaft so you have to pull it out and here i am attempting to trying to get the thing out if not uh, if the ink gets inside it might um, stain the whole thing and get stuck actually i don't know what will happen if the ink gets caught in between the whatever that is inside <laughs> it's so strange why is there like something in there <laughs> I do have to tell you that this is my first time doing this and I got no idea how it might turn out. And okay, I got this thing out and make sure that there's, it's clean inside and I guess I'm good to go. Uh, then I realized that it's not slant enough to my liking again, so I'm cutting it once more. So it's uh, best to have a very sharp slant, a long sharp slant and this feather is actually pretty long and it's not very easy to grip actually. It just feels like a very fine tin pen. Alright, so let's try. I'm using the Artry Mantis ink. It's archival and I know why use such an expensive ink on something that I'm trying out, right? But this is the only ink I have now, so here goes nothing. Okay, trying that grip again. I'm not sure if I should pull out the feather at the side. I tried, but I couldn't pull it out. So maybe you have to cut it instead for a better grip, but I'm just going to use it as it is. Yeah, so dip in all the way. Okay, maybe not all the way, just at the end. And then I'll start drawing. No, wait, I'll start writing it first. So I'm attempting to write hello and I realize it's very wet because um, when I dip it in, a lot of ink will be trapped at the, at the tip. So I realized I had to like mm, try and shake off excess and like scrub off excess from the side of the bottle, but it's still very thick and it's not easy to control the ink but I realized that I can actually write with it see it's so thick so I have to like scrub it off like excess ink and then try writing it and I'm actually surprised at how well this turned out I mean it's uneven but it looks good so I'm going to try drawing with it and see how it goes um, I wonder if in the olden days they used this to draw as well I believe so so because this is a feather from a macaw, I've decided to draw a, a parrot. It's a weird looking derpy parrot here. I have to keep dipping my quill into the ink bottle because I realize I keep running out of ink 
and it doesn't hold ink that well compared to nibs and uh, fountain pens I mean fountain pen is not something to compare with and I'm actually inspired to use um, quill from watching Harry Potter so you read their book and watch the movie they actually use quills like feathered quills to write and I thought I'll give it a try so I'm a wizard man <laughs> nah it doesn't make me a wizard can't do nuts with this have anyone ever thought that maybe wizards use like a quill for a wands instead? Maybe a quill from a phoenix or something like that? <laughs> I don't know. So right, I'm done like trying out already. So I'm going to do an actual artwork now. And what's there to draw? Hmm. Okay, so I've decided I'm going to draw birds in a forest because I'm using a quill. So yeah, this video is all bird related. Like birds. <laughs> And forest, I love drawing trees. So here goes nothing. I hope it turns out well. I didn't even do any plan or sketch in advance. I'm just like, I'm just gonna dip and go ahead with this. And yeah, I'm gonna just speed it up for you. Is this even a good angle? Alright, so I got some random bird there and another random huge bird. Okay, this is supposed to be a macaw, but. I guess without the color, it doesn't look like a macaw. And there's little birdie. And I'm just gonna go ahead and draw more. Okay. This one has a little hair style. <laughs> Branches. Maybe I should do a video on how to draw trees. I actually love drawing nature. As you can see, it's very hard to control the nib and the size. So when the ink is thick, Especially when I after I dip it into the bottle, you it gives a very um, bold line instead of a fine line. I mean, I tried removing like most of the con of the ink after I dip it in really, but it's still like this. And I'm drawing grass, and that's a kiwi. They are extinct, right? They're extinct, right? New Zealand kiwis, right? And more birds, more branches, and more leaves. Nah, <laughs> I just decided to add an African penguin inside too because you know they don't really need to be in the snow. <laughs> and another bird. So I decided to touch up my artwork. And this is what it looks like from just drawing with a quill. It looks pretty um, plain, so I did like uh, line works like slashes of lines to give it a bit of depth but it still looks like something is missing so I decided that I'm going to use watercolor on it so the good thing about this um, ink it's waterproof it's, uh, it's not only archival but waterproof so I took my black watercolor and uh, decided to give it a do like a wash of watercolor at the back and give it more depth yeah give it like shadow and depth and yeah, <laughs> I got I ran out of things to say, but I really enjoy this process and um, this nib. So I'm hoping to s more of you draw um, with a quill. Please do not attempt to pull off feathers from a bird. The friend who I got these feathers from said that his birds um, shed them. I'm not sure if they shed, but they just dropped it and he collected them. So there we go, it's all done! Hey guys, so that is the end of my video and I hope you enjoyed it. So do check out my YouTube channel, I do a lot of other videos such as um, vlogs and I paint on things like wood, leather and I also occasionally do like um, procreate tutorials so you can learn how to draw perhaps, learn how to doodle from my channel and I would like to Thank you for staying all the way to the end and see you again soon. Goodbye. Muffin Sauce signing out.